Fall is here and farmers are out in their fields and out on local roads gathering up that harvest. But there are other dangers out there as well. Fall festivals are ramping up in the next few weeks. Of course, we've got trick-or-treating just around the corner. And with all of that extra activity on area roads and the sun setting earlier, drivers are going to need to use even more caution behind the wheel. So, Sergeant Justin Sears with the Terre Haute Police Department joining us in studio this morning to talk about some fall safety. Good morning. Good morning. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Me. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us. Okay, so like we just mentioned, October is such a busy time between festivals and then we kind of wrap up everything with Halloween. There's just so much happening, which is a cause that, you know, cause for concern for law enforcement with so many people just being out on the roads and whatnot. So what are the major concerns from your end? Just safety in general. Um, there is a lot going on in October. Uh, Halloween has not just become the end of the month either. It's pretty much taken over the entire month of October with all the different events and stuff that are going on with the churches and different organizations. Uh, you also have harvest like you talked about. Uh, farm implements and equipment are being coming in and out of the fields at all times. They don't move the fastest. Sometimes they're going to block the roads or delay you for a little bit. So we appreciate you'd be impatient. Uh, animals are starting to move around as well too, so it'll be a little extra caution. And then obviously with trick-or-treating, you're gonna have a lot more pedestrian traffic than usual. So slow down, definitely watch for kids running in and out of the streets and stuff like that. All right, so let's go into a little more detail about some of the uh, issues you were just talking about. Farmers are out there, um, but they're not just in the fields. They have a lot of their tractors out on those country roads as well. What are the big concerns there? Yeah, um, speed is a, is a big thing right there because they can't maneuver the way that a normal passenger car can. They're, they're holding heavy loads or in and out of fields. Sometimes it's not, it sometimes takes a little bit of time to get into the fields as they maneuver through the ditches and stuff like that. And then to get their grain or everything that they're harvesting to where it needs to go, they're going to be out on the roadways. And sometimes they take up both lanes. Uh, most of the time, the farmers are really good about, you know, pulling over every once in a while and letting traffic go by. Sometimes that's not possible. So back traffic gets backed up and just be patient. Don't don't be the guy trying to pass or trying to maybe cause an, for just for an extra 30 seconds. It's not worth it. Sure. And I know you mentioned previously wildlife more active in the fall months and something in particular we seem to have a big problem with here is deer versus car accidents. Yeah, deer, typically not horrible in the city. However, when you get out on US 46 or 40 East or 63 North and South, um, the deer come out, all right? They're moving, it's, it's fall, it's getting ready to be winter, they're preparing for the, that. You know, hunting season's also coming up too, so it'll continue to move for a little bit. And we don't want people, you know, they go to swerve or miss deer and stuff like that, and that's where accidents happen. Just be cautious of it. So, I mean, the, the recommendation is actually just hit the deer. I yeah, mean, as terrible as that sounds. It, it's it, it does. It sounds bad. However, usually you're more subject to injury or hurting somebody else if you go to make an evasive move or something like that that you're not actually capable of doing. Not only the, the deer, but leaves out on the roads can cause the slick conditions as well as they start falling. Leaves like wet grass or cut grass, stuff like that too. Dangerous to motorcycles. They're still out. The weather's, you know, still doing pretty well uh, until this weekend. Like Julie said, maybe so you get too cold for that. But leaves not only for pedestrians or bicyclists or around just walking around buildings sometimes. And be, be cautious. They're very, you know, it's a, it's a slip hazard. Can be. And I have a feeling your advice is going to be similar, but with all those fall festivals again coming up in Halloween, um, what kinds of safety concerns do those pose? Uh, there's all kinds of things that we can talk about with the Halloween and the trick-or-treating. Uh, Halloween's a great month right now. It takes over like we talked about the whole month. Uh, it's family events. The weather's nice. Everybody's out. Prepare for it. Uh, make sure you got the right costume. Make sure the fit's good. Make sure that you do the little things that are going to make your experience when you're doing trick-or-treating uh, more comfortable or easier to do with, deal with, uh, especially with small children. Map out your route. In the city, if you're going to be working multiple blocks, of work one side for several blocks and then come back so you don't have to go back and forth crossing the road repeatedly. You know, put yourself in that little extra danger that you don't have to. Um, if you're going to hand out candy, make sure you hand out candy that's already, you know, purchased candy from a store. We don't want you to waste your time by cooking stuff like that or making certain things uh, because the parents were going to say, unless you know it, it's from a family, a friend, or a loved one, we're going to say don't eat that or we're going to do not do that. Uh, if you're going to pass out candy, make sure your front porch, your lights are on, make sure it's uh, obstruction free. We don't want people tripping on anything there doing that. And uh, just be careful and have fun. I mean, there's a lot going on. Uh, starting this weekend, you got different churches, you got the Terre Haute Center, the, or the Haute City Center, Moonlight, uh, 
there's there's events everywhere the trick-or-treats and the trunk or treats and the police union is going to be downtown at first friday they're going to be doing stuff down there i mean it's just it's it's a great month so just be cautious so you can enjoy it all right, all right. Thank you so much, and thank you for joining us this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. We'll Absolutely. put more uh, tips on our website, mywalmashvalley.com.